Next month I'll embark on my first ever rail bike expedition, multi-day into a deep remote canyon that has no road access. This is the device I'm going to be using. I built it specifically for this trip. Got my friend Jamie helped me out testing it. I made the entire thing out of aluminum extrusion using rudimentary tools, so not, no machining, nothing special is needed. And today we're going to try and break it. This is nuts, man. If we come off, if we come off at this speed, we're going, we're going to, we should be wearing helmets. Dude, this is not cool, man. Okay, okay. It's so dumb. <laughs> Look at it still goes. <laughs> that thing goes. <laughs> oh, make sure it doesn't hit the camera. Man, the day turned out perfect. No kidding, eh? Shit, this morning I was like, fuck, oh, that's gonna happen. See, so, it's good. So far, it's going well. Yeah. So we have this device set up that we only contact the upper and the inside rail 
Uh, just like a train, we found that to be a little bit more reliable than previous versions. this thing with no hands, which is kind of sick. Is this uh, certified for commercial use yet? Yes, of course. Got my train conductor's license <laughs> and a letter from the government allowing me to ride the rails. <laughs> Dude, I'm really starting to trust this thing. Oh. We can take this across Canada. We should go to BC today. Yeah. <laughs> It's effortless. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. The coefficient of friction between like the tires and the rail is like almost like ice. You can ride like a couple hundred kilometers per hour. Time to do an inspection to see if there was any failures. I did notice that the wheels on the one side were, looked like they were rubbing a bit, so I might need to put some more spacers in there. Other than that, we were saying that there's a little bit of flex in here. We actually broke one of these previously. These are cast. These are made of cast aluminum, so we're going to make those out of steel, and then should be good. Nothing left to do.